on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Cyber Realm. So today we're doing a statistical video, therefore I am sitting in front of you with my face cam being the main focus of this video. I never thought I'd work up the courage, but here I am. But before we begin, I just want to let you guys know, leave a like, thumbs up if you do enjoy this video by the end of it, because if you do, say we get 10 likes, I'm going to throw in another one, because statistics, talking to you guys, might be fun. I've thought about it, but never had to make it a reality until now. With that out of the way, let's move on. So, we're talking about AD and AP, two primarily main damage statistics in League of Legends. So, AD, short for attack damage. Mainly stat used by melee champions, by marksmen, typically anyone who auto-attacks a lot. Ability power, frequently used by mages, because they rely on spamming abilities a lot. Each in its own way is very powerful, and kind of kept separate, because champions typically go either the path of AD or the path of AP. They don't mingle the two together unless you're like Kai'Sa, who doesn't really care which path she builds, because she will be powerful either one She's an exception, and because of exceptions like this that I think it is wrong for me to jump too deep into explaining damage dealt in League of Legends just by comparing AD and AP, because that's not right. There's a lot of factors included. So I decided to go very, very shallow. So we're going to look at just pure numerical stats of AD and AP, as well as their counterparts of armor and magic resist, and how these play a role in League of Legends damage systems. So first things first... One of the most important factors that affects your AD and AP values in League of Legends is, of course, items. You want to get items to get stronger, right? So I decided to take Summoner's Rift, classic 5v5 map, every single item inside, including Orn's upgraded items, and make a comparison. So for AD items, the highest AD granting item is Molten Edge, which is the upgraded version of Infinity Edge by Orn. This item here grants you 100 attack damage, which means you get 6 of these suckers in your bag and you suddenly got 680. Fantastic. Alright, how about for AP? Well, for AP, it's Rabadon's Death Crown, which is the upgraded version of Rabadon's Death Cap. Once again, by Orn. Because Orn makes everything better. Rabadon's Death Crown grants 175 ability power. Now, just by pure stats alone, you can already tell that six of these suckers would definitely be more ability power than whatever the AD counterpart is. So, does that mean AP is the dominant st stat, damaging stat in League of Legends? Like I said, not quite, because there's a lot of factors involved in playing this. But anyways... Also, like I said, we're not going to go too deep into this because it's going to get crazy messy before we can get to the end of it. So, one step at a time. Now, let's take a look at their counterparts. You'd think for a minute, logically speaking, if you had a high damaging stat, you'd have a higher resistance stat, right? So, meaning, if you had high AP values for an item, you'd have high MR values for an item, right? Apparently, League of Legends decided to throw that concept out the window because I'm about to explain. In items, once again, the highest granting armor item in League of Legends is Frozen Heart. Surprisingly enough, not one that's made by Orn, because it's not on his list of things to do. Frozen Heart grants you 100 armor. Boom, straight up equivalent to AD. The highest granting AD item, which is the Molten Edge, grants 100 AD, you know, and then Frozen Heart grants you 100 armor. Those two cancel each other out. Okay, fair enough. But, ability power is the tricky thing. Ability power already lies on top of AD, as we just mentioned. So, shouldn't MR also lie above armor? That's the crazy part. Here's an item that's that grants the most amount of magic resist in... Orn's arsenal, apparently. And Orn is already enhancing the potentials of this item to the top, which is the item Inferno Mask, which is the upgraded version of Abyssal Mask. This guy grants 90 magic resist. 10 lower than what Frozen Heart can grant armor with. Higher AP, lower MR. Okay. 
yep, seems right. So we're going to give the congratulations to AP and thank them for all their hard work. AD, is this out of there? No, of course not, because, you know, there's cooldowns, there's armor penetrations, there's magic penetrations, there's a lot of different things that's playing involved in. And how much DPS? Their DPS is even harder to calculate, because mages are done by spamming spells, right? And spells can't really be dependent on different things, really. If you hit or miss, it's kind of a thing as well. But, that's a lot. And this is as far as we go today. And I have to give the clear winner to ability power for today's session because in statistics just by looking at pure numbers ap is the clear winner it there's there's just no way no two ways about it next episode if we do get one i'm going to be talking about armor penetration and magic penetration and how these come into play on negating your armor and magic resist and then we'll see a little bit more uh, and a little bit more insight on how exactly this will help us see you guys in the next one and hope you guys have a good day